Hey guys, this is Frankie Dacha How Washer Frankie, and today I am going to be making the Boudoir Blushes Satin French Knickers. And the pattern basically comes from this book, it's called The Secrets of Sewing Lingerie. At the back of the book, they give you patterns. Now you're going to have to trace those out because the patterns are overlapping each other. So you're going to cut out two front pieces two back pieces and one gusset piece. So when you're sewing, they want you to use French seams. So when you are sewing a French seam, basically you're gonna put the wrong side and wrong sides together and then you're gonna sew at the edge all the way at your rise. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sewn this so now we're going to trim off the excess seam allowance So now after you have trimmed that off, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to press, press this. Once you have pressed that down, and you can either, you probably just press it to like one, press it to one side. Just make sure it's a nice clean press. And then you're gonna fold this in half and then you're gonna press it down again and it's going to look like, it's gonna look like this once you press it down. And then you're gonna go ahead and stitch again. Just make sure that you do not catch your seam allowance into the stitch. Stitch it there and then when you flip it back out, then you have a nice seam and you have a nice clean finished seam as well. I'm gonna be basically be doing more French seams because this contains a lot of French seams. So right now we have done all of our French seams. So now it is time to do the crotch. And this is also gonna be a French seam as well. Make sure that nothing is twisted. And what I'm going to do is so that things are not so bulky, I'm going to basically put this seam facing one direction, this seam facing another direction. And then I'm going to go ahead and pin this down and then I'm going to go ahead and French seam it. Okay, so I have finished doing the crotch. French seam looks like this and so I also did a stay stitch here and this is basically going to help me to do the waistband so this is going to fold over and that just helps me to fold it over then I'm going to go ahead and stitch this all the way around and once I do that I'm basically going to put it down the allotted elastic because I have elastic here. I have the elastic here that I'm going to feed through. And then this way, this is clean finish down here, so I'm just going to stitch this down. But first, I'm just going to bend and stitch. I went ahead and did the waistband, sewed this down, so now we're ready to do the elastic and fold over. But before we do that, I did the same to the leg opening so that I can go ahead and fold it over and stitch down just like I did at the waistband. But we have the gusset. So for the gusset, basically what I did was I folded the edges back, I stitched it, and then I also did a little bit of fabric glue just to make sure things didn't come up. And I did the same thing like I did here. 
I stitched the edge just so that I could bend these over and then I stitched it down. So that's why you see two stitches here versus one stitch on the other side. So basically the gusset where you see all these fringe seams, you don't really want this rubbing in your crotch. So this is where the gusset comes in. We're going to, or I'm going to tack it down here tack it down at the seams and then I'm just gonna come in come in and just finish this off with the gusset down there so let me take care of that let me go ahead and tack it down Now I'm putting elastic in the waistband. I'm using 5 8 of an inch elastic. And I'm gonna be putting the elastic in the same way I did the petticoat because <laughs> I don't have that tool to pull it through or a safety pin. So I'm basically just going around. I marked where I want this to stop for my own self so when I stitch over it, I know how long it needs to be. And then I'm just going around and pinning it inside the waistband and just make sure you do not accidentally sew the elastic when you're sewing the waistband and what I mean by that is you just want to sew this to this you don't want to accidentally catch this because if you catch this that means your elastic will not be able to move within the waistband So now I'm going to go ahead and stitch this all the way around and leave this spot open. I'm going to, I made a mark on this. I'm basically going to go to that mark, place it over, do a zigzag stitch, pull it in, and then once this goes in, I'm going to have it straight and then go over the hole. Alright, so this is stitched all the way around. I went ahead and zigzag stitched the elastic, pull it on through, and now I'm just going to. And now I'm just going to sew this hole up. And it'll be done. And then 
we will get to see it on. So here's the front view of the finished knickers. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. And here is the back view of the knickers. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.